What's going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live show. I am LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers who have come by to my channel. It's truly, truly appreciated, right? But listen, this is Giants off-season talk. Let's get right into it. The Giants did something that we knew what they were going to do. They released James Bradbury today. Listen, guys, we all knew this was coming. We just was just not if, but when, right? Um, so that was the big thing. Um, we were hoping to move him during the draft, um, but that didn't work. We obviously didn't have any suitors there. So, you know, we had to release him, you know, um, you know, we cleared up $10 million in cap space. Uh, the reality is that, listen, there's a new regime, guys, right? Joe Shane and Dable, um, they have uh, some, you know, an idea of what they want this team to look like as far as uh, schemes, culture, everything, right? So that's the key, right? So Joe Shane um, has uh, an identity that he wants this team to be. So, um, you know, that, that's what you have to focus on. You know, my only thing is that now leaves out there kind of thin, right? You don't have anybody opposite, opposite side of Dory Jackson. Uh, so now you have to figure out, you know, do we put Darnay Holmes over there or Julian Love? Of course, we picked up Flott uh, from LSU in the draft. So we got to see who actually is going to take up that spot, you know. So, so we have some options. Uh, also, too, we're going to use that $10 million to maybe pick up a veteran corner out there, see what happens. Um, but the Giants are actually, to me, I love what they're doing. You know, just with scheme-wise, I love that they're picking up. They have some edge rushers there. And Thibodeau, they picked up, of course, in the draft. And Azizo Jalari, they have from last year, who was, was a monster on the edge last year, which I think will be great, you know, pairing him up in Thibodeau. So then it can make it easy for our corners, right? So um, the Giants are doing something great. Like I've always stated, they're building inside and out. So even though um, it's kind of thin out there corner, they're pretty much putting in the, 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 the basis of what you want your team to be strong at, the defensive line and offensive line. Of course, picking up Evan Neal out of Alabama in the draft. So the Giants are making some great moves. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, you know, we should be surprised, guys. We knew this was going to happen. This was going to go. So now, like I said, we just got to see exactly um, direction they're going as far as who they're going to pick up to, you know, put out there. Or if they're just happy with what they have as far as the corners they, you know, they do have. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is the scheme, right? What type of scheme are we going to be running? How aggressive do you want the defensive backs to be? Uh, you know, James Bradbury is more of a uh, zone guy, so he's not really a press guy. So um, I think that's what, you know, uh, the, you know, the defensive coordinators bringing over, uh, more of an aggressive defense. So uh, I don't think, you know, Bradbury fit into that scheme. So, you know, we got to do what, you know, we feel is best. But I love what we're doing. I love what we're building. Um, I think the Giants have a very, very bright future. Um, you know, but, you know, you got to, hey, man, this is a new regime now, right? So you have to put the pieces in that you feel is going to fit exactly what it is that you're trying to do. Um, period in the story and sometimes guys you know some good players are kept some good players are released that's just what it is you know the Giants are making it clear um, of course if you guys know not picking up that fifth year option for Daniel Jones so they're making it clear listen we, you know we want to see guys produce period and if you're not good enough here then you can't be here you know and we're going to uh, build this team based on how we see it you know how Joe Shane sees it his identity that he has for the Giants you know, how he wants to build them he's putting it in his version and of course with the uh, you know, with him, of course, Dable, uh, bouncing ideas around. Um, I, I love what they're doing. They're shaking things up. And, you know, that's what you got to do if you're trying to build, you know, a, a solid playoff team and, and eventually a Super Bowl contender and a Super Bowl winning team, like, you know, the, like the Giants are known for. Uh, but, you know, but it's starting off great with, you know, the choices and the decisions that they're making, you know, for start, you know, with the draft and, of course, releasing a Bradbury today. So uh, I think the Giants are going in the right direction and uh, getting ready for the season coming up. All right, but listen, that's my quick hitter today. I appreciate you guys coming by. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. All right? Also, too, uh, please hit that bell icon to get all notifications on all my new shows and leave comments, all right, so we can go back and forth and debate, and let's keep it G-rated. All right, I'm LV Live, and that's my show, and I'm out. Peace.